It's game 12 in the regular season and Bulldozer Power are taking on the Bonson Medics. Uh, changes in today's lineup. Uh, Crampons is uh, is in at shortstop uh, because uh, is it Mullo? No, Rudy Capslock. Rudy Capslock is wounded. Uh, and wounded is very much the state of our bullpen as well. Uh, as Bubbly Merchandise will be pitching for us today. Uh, Ominous Bob was up in the rotation, but of course we don't play Ominous Bob because he's terrible. And and this is for one person only in the comments. There is no opportunity to draft him out, trade him in, shift him around. There's no free agency in this league. Cindy there is not doing well. She's out. Uh, didn't really get much of that one. So there's no free agency. There is no free agency. You cannot change your lineup uh, during the regular season. So uh, there you are. You can, oh, well, at any point in the season, in the playoffs, you can't change your lineup. Yes, uh, there you go. Anyway, here's, uh, here's Kojak. Ed Varnish is uh, is pitching for the medics. And uh, that's that's ball three there for Kojak. And she's going to get a walk. Good times. All right. Okay. Here we go. Uh, here's Ulysses' failure. Don't they look smart in there? No, they they look like a bunch of flipping Harlequins in their uh, in their current uniforms. Failure. Like the look of that one. Do you know why? That's why. That. That there is why. That one has, uh, has gone out. I've got an achievement for that, which rather surprises me. Um, but hey-ho. Nice. I've, I've hit lots of home runs in my time. I have no idea why I got it. I've got a home run prestige bonus thing for that one. But uh, there it is. Anyway, two runs to Baldo. Baldo's bad. Jack Mercury now up to bat. And uh, a bright start for the Baldo's of power. Uh, well, that's what you like to see. Uh, Mercury's in no hurry. No, he's, uh, he's going to take his time. Strike two there. Two strikes, two balls. Oh, that was an edge case, that one. That one, not so much. But uh, no, soak up some pitches, man. It's all good. Well, he's not going very far on that, but we've already scored. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm largely okay with it. Here comes Zoltan. He's had seven home runs this season. The big lad with his big stash. Uh, he's uh, he's a, a big hitter. Is Zoltan, but he is occasionally erratic, and uh, we wait to see whether. Uh, uh, sorry, beg your pardon. That was the appropriate noise to be made at that particular moment. As Zoltan slaps one out as far as the fence. Could he have made it to third? You know, I think he probably could. I think he probably could have got a triple off that, but uh, yeah, it's, it's all by the by. Uh, is uh, Steve the Steve Mori? Uh, who will be hoping to uh, to help Zoltan on his merry way to somewhere else? Uh, the boy Varnish is already looking less than uh, less than confident. Go for it, son. There you go. That one came off the fence. We're going to go for two. Sorry, that's uh, I was a bit on the edge of my seat there. Uh, I, I thought I'd made Steve go for a double, which would have been a bad idea. But uh, but Zoltan had gone for two and he got in. His crampons. Yeah, the commentary is not all that. Not yet. I'm, I'm still warming up. Got to get me face in tune with the game as it's being played. Ah, uh, Bernie, how's how's Bernie feeling? He's feeling like popping that one up. Well, okay, but we got three runs in that inning, and you know that's that's a remarkably fine place to start. And we've demoralised the heck out of the pitcher. So uh, so I feel good about life. Here's Tonya Spangle. She's only batting 156 this season, but uh, does have a home run to her name. And uh, she'll be the first to face off against Bubbly Merchandise. Strike one. Yeah, super. Yeah, that's, that's good. There you go. Kojak. Lovely. Throw it first. Lovely. All right. One away. Here's Bernard Dunk, the left fielder. Uh, he's of a mood. I mean, look at him. You can tell. I mean, to be honest, it looks like he might always be of a mood, but... Right now, he is of a mood. And uh, the mood that he is of remains to be seen. But uh, we'll probably see that short. Ooh, that was nice. Uh, we'll probably see it shortly. Big sinky curve there from Bubbly. Woya! That's what she just said. And it worked. Uh, here's Exponential Tyrone. Arguably the best hitter on the team. Uh, he's, I mean, he's wearing a heck of a lot of padding there on his arm. They look quite snazzy in their uniforms as well, although I'm not entirely sure that the teal pants are, uh, are really bringing much to the party. Kojak can't get anywhere near that one. Um, yeah, you can't win them all. It's okay. It's all good. Here's uh, Bambi Severe. 
and uh, her corrective eye surgery didn't go entirely to plan. She's still got the bruises there going on from the uh, the LASIK treatment. Uh, so she's got her spectacles on in order to help her focus. There you go. Steve for a second. Not quite. But to be honest, pick, picking off second, that's really difficult. It is. I should be trying to steal that, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, bubbles. Get them on a change-up. Not so much. But uh, Cindy caught that one. And that's all the way there for nothing. Bordeaux's a power with a three to zip lead at the end of one. Uh, it'll be Lynn Mephisto who's first up for us. And uh, she's fine. There's nothing wrong with Lynn Mephisto. She's batting over 400. Uh, it's just, you know, doesn't make headlines. And we do like our players to make headlines. Anyway, Ed Varnish is looking like a right shambles at the moment. So it's, it's possible that uh, that Lynn could make a name for herself here if the opportunity presents it. What are you doing? Uh, presents itself. But his accuracy has gone to hell. Uh, so uh, so maybe a strollette here is uh, is viable. No. But a nice big thumping hit is. How far has it gone, though? Off the fence. Yeah, you could have gone for a double there. Always go for... If you think you're going to be caught, go for a double. Why not? There's uh, no harm in it, especially when the bases are empty. Uh, here's Bubbly Merchandise up for a go. Uh, 286 she's batting this season. That's pretty good. Yeah. But I think we're just going to let her stand here. Yeah? yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was the one to hit. If you were going to go for one, that would have been it. Not this one. No, no, definitely not that one. No, that got two people out. Oh, should have just left it. Yeah, it should have just stood there and got struck out. You'd have been fine. Uh, anyway, two outs now for BDP. Here's Cindy. Who shouldn't have swung at that? Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me. There you go. Just leave it alone. Leave, leave him alone there. They've, they've clearly got to keep this clown in for a little while. Uh, because they don't have the depth to uh, to, to replace him. Alright, well, Cindy gets nothing much off that, and she'll be history. And so is the whole team. Nothing doing there for BDP in that inning. We got one hit, which was quite nice, but we completely wasted it by swinging away with the uh, with the pitcher. Uh, here's Jack Rasputin, who's only batting 209. He's got three runs batted in, but his, uh, his batting average is not what you might want from a batter. Cindy. Thank you. Okay, well, he's gone. Here's Justine Underworld, first baseman. And, uh, well, she's... I'm not entirely sure what exactly is going on with those sleeves she's wearing. Uh, it looks like a game of uh, Tetris. I was going to say Tetris. I was thinking the bat and ball thing. Oh, yeah, breakout. Yeah, or batty. You know, one of those two. Yeah, you see, I always thought that batty was quite an obscure game, but loads of people have heard of it. Uh, true, true, true. But I think Breakout is the one that everybody knows. Yeah, possibly. Uh, right, Zoltan moving to intercept. Zoltan still moving to intercept. Zoltan! Beautiful. <clears throat> Two outs now. And here is the team captain, Spock. Uh, just pop your top off, Bumson. And uh, he's going to try and salvage something from this inning that is not going well so far for the team. We, n we really need to stop just flinging it down the middle. Yeah, I know, but these new pitching mechanics... Uh, as much as it hasn't really changed what I do, it has changed the way that uh, pitches are interpreted. Another one straight down the middle. Look. Yeah. All right. Well, try him on a curveball and see if it foxes him. There you go. Yeah. In your face, Bonson. Well, okay. At the end of two, uh, a scoreless inning there. It's still 3 nothing to Bulldoze Power. And Kojak Misteron will be first up to show her mettle against the, uh, the flagging Ed Varnish. Yeah, who's uh, who's coming up on forty pitches already? Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be tired. He's not tired. He's just demoralised. Uh, Kojak there is uh, is not going to have anything uh, anything positive happen to him. She's gone home. Uh, Ulysses' failure is next up to bat. Home run for him first time out. Yeah. So what what's he going to do this time? Probably strike out. I imagine. Oh no, maybe not. Oh, you missed it. Oh, tough little soldier. Yeah. I mean, Failey's got the speed. He possibly could have made it to second there, but better not to chance it. Uh, the attempted sliding catch there for North. See, look, they know they know that he's likely to give it a go. All right, wait for it. Mercury. No, you see, I'm, my brain's thinking about whether or not I'm going to steal. You see, that's, that's what's going on right now. Uh-oh. 
Ah, oh, safe as houses. Rasputin there couldn't make the catch, and failure still seconds. Right, concentrate on actually hitting the ball, will you? That's worked for us when anything's worked for us historically. This stealing business, it's uh, it's a moderately new invention, and therefore uh, we shouldn't necessarily go for it. Failure's going for home. He's there. You've got to make use of the speedy lad while the speedy lad is available. Here's Zoltan, and uh, they, they're done with Ed Varnish. He's gone, and they're bringing on El Smiters instead. And, uh, and she's going to try and cut through uh, what has been a moderately effective BDP offence. Yeah. Yeah, see, that sounded almost professional. But, uh, you know, I'm just letting you know, you haven't changed channel. You're still in the same place. Here we go. It's Zoltan. Uh, three and one is the count. Zoltan there, sticking that in a tough spot. And that will be enough to advance the, the bases. Two runners now on, and here's Steve Murray. He got himself a single last time around, and that's not often something we say about Steve Murray. No, he usually gets two people out. Yeah, I know, but he might not have had the opportunity. That's true. It's very true. Two balls. Steve, he's waiting for it. That was that was a nice one, Steve. You were just a bit late on the swing. That's yeah, good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's not good. Okay. Two balls. Two strikes. The count. That one inside. Okay. Come on, Steve. Make a good decision. Or make that decision, Steve. I mean, you know, the, the, you have both choices available to you. Uh, here's Bernie Crampons, who's only playing uh, because Caps Lock is wounded. And uh, he's, his batting average is 111. Yeah. It's not good. No, that's why he sat down in the first place, because he was completely hopeless. Yep. But, I mean, he can soak up pitches as well as anybody. Well, I mean, that's true enough. Uh, but what he should be doing is just a just a nice base hit would do the job. Or a walk. A walk's also good. Crampon's there taking his base. And that leaves Lynn Mephisto, who, as we've said before, she's fine. Can she capitalise on a bases loaded scenario? Yes, is the answer to that. Oh, good. Well, that brings us up to two runs for this inning. And I'm, already, I'm, I'm happy with that. Everyone can get out any time. Bubbly, no pressure. But if you can get a base hit, you should. That would be a thing that we would like. We would like that. For one. All right. A walk is also viable, you understand? Yep. 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 Bubbles. 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 That's, that's two nice pitches in a row you've had there. Yeah, I know. But we do, I mean, given that we're likely to be out, soaking up a couple of pitches didn't, didn't do us any harm. So, I would say opportunity wasted, but we did get some runs off that. So, I'm, I'm not disappointed, given the, uh, the area of the batting lineup that we were facing. Uh, it, it might have been tempting to bring on, uh, you know, the likes of uh, Vanessa Hammock there to uh, Veronica Hammock. Oh, that's right. I get, I get so confused about the Hammock sisters. I know you do. Um, but, uh, but, no, we're, we're short on pitchers. And, therefore, we need to keep our pitching staff uh, moderately. Okay, that's good. You sure you're not missing a verb there? Nope. All right. Yeah. Oh, tough place for a pitch. Merkers can't have it. No, and that's gone to an incredibly awkward position. Uh, Mephisto will chuck that one out to second. And uh, a double there. Uh, well, here's the, uh, here is the pitcher. Uh, L Smiters. Yeah, just uh, throw whatever you like. Yeah. I think she's going to try and bunt. All right. Don't be clever. Don't be clever. There you go. That's it. Possibly could have got the runner to third, but it doesn't really matter. Getting at least one person out is the bit that matters. Here's Tonya Spangle. And uh, she uh, she accomplished precious little with her first at bat, but that's something we could say for the entire team at the current time. And there you go. Oh, that's dangerous. That's good. What? A? Hey, what? A? Hey, what? No, you see, you muffed that, so she was allowed to run. Oh, bomb. Yeah, I know. I know. That, that's You can blame Big Steve for not catching it. And he caught that. That would have been an out. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like... Oh, dear. Yeah, I, went, I, thought, the, I thought I had some mesh fencing on the back uh, on the backboard there. Now, it's just a bit of string over the top of it. All right, well, the medics are off the uh, off the mark, and uh, and three runs there for them. That's that's not gone well. No, it really hasn't gone well. 
No, we had a commanding lead that has just evaporated before our very eyes. And, uh, and all of a sudden, bulldozer power need to actually start to play. Oh, dear. Yeah, I know. But there you go. Two strikes. Can you get Tyrone? Doubtful. Tyrone's a flipping monster. Yeah, but I bet you can get him. I bet you can't. He's a monster. I bet I can. See, you can't... Ah, oh, there you go. Zoltan's got it. Hang on. All right. Two away. Uh, here's Bambi Severe. Uh, prepared to bat using either direction of bat switching uh, is uh, is Bambi. I mean, I don't know if that accounts for very much in the grand scheme of things, but uh, she is certainly able to uh, to switch hit. So, you know, it's just a piece of trivia, people. I'm not suggesting it's pertinent or, in fact, interesting. But you know, you've you've sometimes you have to uh, you've got to go for whatever commentary presents itself in front of you by way of continuing the conversation while the game's going on. Otherwise, we end up in a, in a couple of minutes of awkward silence. And how would that be? You know, it feels like you're watching a lesser channel. Uh, you don't come here to watch the startling baseball, although occasionally it's startling and potentially interesting. Nice work, Cindy. Throw it. Uh, no, you, you come here for the stimulating commentary that is thrown in during the game. Uh, anyway, right, at the end of three, it is now Bulldozer Power 5, Bumps and Medics 3. All right, okay, and we're around to the top of the order. We're waiting for Cindy to do something today. She hasn't yet, but she could do any time. Any time, any time. Cindy could do something. We haven't, we haven't spoken about Cindy being top of the batting order for a while. Let's do that again. Uh, Cindy, of course, is top of the batting order, having been the third, fourth Bulldozer Power player to take the role on, and uh, and has been the only one to have any level of a success as our lead-off batter. So, uh, so the position is very much our own. Kojak, of course, has moved from the tail end of the batting order uh, to the uh, to the front three. And uh, has she prospered? It's hard to say for sure. Uh, what we do know for certain. Is that while she was uh, while she was towards the tail end of the order, she was raking in the uh, the runs batted in uh, simply because she got to clean up anybody that had uh, managed to get on base before then. Uh, one and two is your count, or two and one depends which way round you want to score it. Two balls, one strike. Yeah. Oh, demon! Yeah. Okay. Right, here we go. Full count now. Something's got to happen. Something has to give. All right, I judged that one right. I didn't think I had, but I had. That was a judge judgment that I'd done correctly. His, uh, his Ulysses failure is two for two today, and we're including that home run that got us going in the first inning. That's in a tricky position, and that will load up the bases, which means we have to get things very wrong to avoid getting another run. No pressure, Murky Jack Mercury. All right, come on, Murky, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Wait for it. Wait for it. No hurry. No hurry. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gently does it. That is not gently does it. Oh, what a mistake. And a potential double play there. Completely blown. And they got nobody out. And that's leaving us with Zoltan, Zoltan. And no outs. And the base is still loaded. And Zoltan goes, thank you very much, I'll, I'll take a base hit. Don't mind if I do. And, uh, and Bulldozer Power looking looking all right today. Uh, we, we've seen on many occasions the Bulldozer Power offense was looking dramatically bad. Uh, but today, so far, they're okay. Big Steve, of course, is now, uh, is now up to bat. And historically, he does get two people out at once. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. Just himself this time around. But uh, there it is. Well, if Crampons were to redeem himself, this would be the time to do it. Yeah, they threw that right at where your targeting signal was, Steve. Oh, Steve. It's not Steve, it's Bernie. Oh, Bernie. Oh, Bernie. Well, okay, after a lot of hits there, we only managed to get two runs. But hey, that's two runs we just managed to get. Here's, uh, here's Rasputin, who is currently rattled. Uh, he's obviously uh, he's got a couple of pins loose, maybe. 
Strike one. Oh, you, Charlie. You all right, Bubbly? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Gesundheit. Uh, make sure you do yourself a, uh, a lateral flow. Yeah, yeah, lateral flow test for you. Come on. Oh, he's gone. Oh, yeah, Bubbly there with the fist pump. Along the lines of, that's what you get. I was doing the, I was doing the thing there. You could possibly hear that on the uh, on the play by play. Uh, right. Okay. Who's this? It's Justine Underworld. Everybody. Okay. All right. Is she any good? Doesn't really matter, does it? We're going to throw the ball the same, more or less, anyway. We don't we don't pitch individual batters any differently. Merkers to first. Out number two. This is solid. This is good. Here's Bumson. He'll be hoping to redeem himself after a pretty shocking showing in his uh, in his first at bat. Uh, but uh, I mean. I say that, but it's that's making out like these people are alive. Oh, bubbly, good catch. That's another thing that came with the uh, the changing to pitching, you know, is that uh, pitchers will now occasionally actually try and stop the ball if it comes towards them without using their face. I know, it's a, it's a radical change, and it seems to have worked in our favour there quite nicely. Here's Mephisto, two of two today. And uh, we like that. That's a good thing. Yeah, just take some pitches. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we want to wear out this pitcher. Uh, we've got a lead. It's four runs. Wear out the pitcher. And if a target, that one, uh, opportunity comes along, hit it. <clears throat> All right, good. Mephisto there taking a base. Good, good. Here's Bubbles. Bubbles, nothing for you this time. I've put the control. No, I'm not going to put the controller down. I'm going to. Uh, I'll swing away if it feels if it feels right to do so. You, you're just going to get two people out. If you stand here and strike out, then you won't get two people out. You'll just get yourself out. Oh, yeah. No, fouling is fine, but you can't do that with any level of reliability. There you go. No, Bubbles, it's fine. It's fine. It was a little bit high, but it was a it was a crazy sinker. And, uh, and that's, that's okay. All right, back round to Cindy. One out now. Uh, we've still got a runner on first. Yeah. Should have run. No, 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 no. It wasn't worth it. Wasn't, wasn't worth it. Just, just settle in. Two strikes now. And, uh, and Cindy's not in any hurry at all. The pitcher, meanwhile, is starting to look very, very tired. Cindy's really hit the hell out of that one. But it's off the fence. Should have gone again. I thought it was going to be caught. Okay, all right. Yeah. It's Kojak. She's been about three times today. Walked twice. And uh, and another pitching change is coming up. Jake Premier is coming in for El Smiters. And uh, Jake Premier is not what you might call a Premier pitcher. Uh, his accuracy might be fine. But the rest of his pitches are a load of tosh. So uh, we'll we'll see how this, uh, how this manifests. Well, it's, it's manifesting quite poorly at the moment. <laughs> There it goes, straight through his legs, and that will load the bases. Bulldozer power once again in a strong position. Uh, we've only got one out so far. Hopefully we can get a run off this situation. It's failure, and if anybody can capitalise on this, he's probably one of the people to do so. But only if he's playing well. How's he playing today? Well. Okay, well that's three balls. Yeah, it is. All right. That, well, that, was, that was the one to swing at. Yeah, all right, okay. I'm, I'm wearing out a pitcher. Failure. Oh, good catch. Nothing doing off that one. Uh, failure. There. He, there was a better pitch he could have swung at, but he didn't. And uh, and that leaves Murky to try and turn this into something. Nah, that's a foul. Yeah, that was too high. He should have just left it. That one. What's it doing? It's good enough. There's a run. I'm happy. Yeah, Murky managing to get a run there. And uh, that takes us up to eight. Here's Zoltan. Zoltan. Clean sweep, mate. Clean sweep. Let's do it. Let's go. I know they call it a grand slam, but uh, Zoltan doesn't slam. He sweeps. And uh, we're going to try and do that cleanly. Come on, Zoltan. Come on, Zoltan. Strike two. Ball two. Come on. Come on. Popped it up. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you know, that's life. You can't always... And sometimes you don't. And therefore, sometimes you've just got to accept that from bases loaded, you only managed to get one run. 
but it's okay. It's all right. Here's Ben Turncoat. He had a double with his first at bat. Bubbly is uh, looking okay. Her stamina's starting to flag a little bit. And that's a bit of a worry because there's every chance that she may be, uh, may be pitching for us next week as well. Either that or we have to put Bob in. Mercus, I'm flipping. Keep hold of it. Why do we pay you? Oh, where are you going? Flipping Jack, flipping useless. That's what his name is. Jack flipping you. I'm trading him at the end of the season. He's a lot of old rubbish. Here's Jake Premier. You gave up a double off an out there. That was an out. And you gave up a flipping double. Oh, dearie me. Now there's the... Yeah, baby. Steve Morrie there with the diving catch off the bunt. I saw it coming. I was ready on the button and it worked. I'm so pleased with myself. Uh, here's Tonya Spangle. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I didn't save much there. Kojak. Oh, lazy dive from Kojak. Accomplishes nothing. Failure throws to home. There's a runner coming in. Nope, not even close. You gave up the runner to second as well. Oh, dear. Car fielders settle in. Get it calm. Get yourselves back in alignment. And, uh, and you head back in the game. Nice strike there, Bubbles. That's good. Uh, yeah. Bubbly, you've got nothing to be ashamed of with your uh, pitching performance. Failure, would you get that? Thank you. Oh, yeah, they're going again. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, no, they, they were always going to get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, two out now. Here's Exponential Tyrone. He's only one of two today, uh, but that's 500, which is good. One of two sounds, you know, mediocre, but actually he's, he's played quite well so far. He stuck that one foul. Now, just, uh, just put him away. Put him out. Put him down. Put him over. There it is. Bubbly merchandise there. Strikes out exponential. Tyrone side retired. One run apiece there. And the bulldozer power lead remains at four. Steve Murray next up to bat. And we've got to be starting to think... Are we going to substitute Bubbly Merchandise if she comes up in the rotation? She's done about as many pitches as we can stand. We've got two relievers. I'd rather not use them both, but we could. Steve Morey. One of him. He's out. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we'll, we'll sub Bubbly uh, when she comes up in the rotation. Uh, but if we go uh, three up, three down here, then she's not going to get the opportunity. Crampons swinging at everything. He might as well. He's only in for his winning personality after all. Ah, he's out. Oh, his personality isn't that winning then. Here's Lynn Mephisto. I'll tell you what, actually. What? Oh, dear me. Oh, dear. Uh, well, okay. Well, I was I was going to say, no, we'll leave Bubbly in. And we'll, we'll take her out next time. But it didn't even come to that. Uh, let's see if we can get one more inning off her. She's pretty tired. Yeah, I know. All right, let's try her on one batter and see how we do. All right. She is, she is about done. She is about done. Merkers? Nope. Uh, Mephisto couldn't get there either. What a shambles. And uh, that's a bad throw. But Cindy manages to keep hold of it. Uh, giving up a double. You're saying you were trying her on one batter? Yeah. Is there a joke about wombats in there? No. Sure? No, there just isn't. I mean, people can create their own if they want to. That's what the comment section is there for. I suppose. Rasputin just got a hit. And his mood was poor. Yeah, you should have taken Bubbly off. Yeah, okay, I'll take her off now. Yeah. All right, okay. Gave up an easy run there. And uh, and that was uh, that was a coaching coaching problem. Uh, here's Justine Underworld, but uh, she's going to face off against one of... Look at this. Look at the bullpen. Just, I mean, would you look at it? So, Des Eyeliner, he's hurt and everything. Uh, Viv Crumble is almost fit, but her mood is completely awful. Uh, there's Ominous Bob. No. Uh, Jeff Conservative, wounded. Uh, you got Buster Flight Risk, who's terrible and wounded. Uh, and so, we've got a choice of Mark Disneyland, whose mood is not good. Or Tulip Banter, which is obviously the way we're going to go. Now and hopefully Tulip can take us all the way home. Because otherwise it will be Disneyland who comes in to replace her. Alright, okay. 
It's not the first time we've had a bubbly tulip combo in the uh, in the pitching for us. So uh, you know, it's it's worked for us before. That one's got a crampo. Crampo fields it, chucks it first, and that's out number one. All right, that's the kind of thing we were looking for. Here's Spock Bumson. Hasn't had much luck so far today, but a lot of it isn't down to luck, you understand. A lot of it is down to how well they can play baseball. And uh, the better they can play baseball, often, the better they do. Tulip, you th you fl you're throwing these all over the joint. Stop it. There you go. Merkus. Out to uh, out to first. And that's out at first. Right. That leaves us with the catcher, Ben Turncoat. He's had a double and a single, and he's only a C-grade player which means he's had a very fortunate day so far. Yeah, it will probably continue, you know. Yeah, I know. Because sometimes, bad players play good. Chuck a fastball in. That'll, that'll fox him. It, I mean, I, I don't know how much that foxed him. It doesn't really matter, you know. We'd, uh, we're mixing it up. Keeping it real. Keeping the zest on the inside of the fruit. Beautiful work. Chill it there with the strikeouts. And as the side retired... Medics, though, still managing to claw their uh, their deficit in by one, as it is Bulldozer Power 8, the Bumson Medics 5. Now back, the pitcher, well, here is Tulip. She's up to bat. She's uh, She's got a 400 batting average this season. Miraculous. Well, that means she's hit 4 of 10. 5 of 11. Okay. Way to go, Tulip. All right, now let's see if that inspires Cindy to be able to actually hit one. She hit the last one. All right, okay. All right, Cindy, what you going to do? What you got? What you going to do? You're going to wait that one out. Cindy Vapids. She's waiting them out. She's waiting that one out as well. She doesn't like it. Doesn't like the looks of that at all. Cindy Vapids gets everybody out. Oh, Cindy. She almost made, she almost made the run, to be fair, but she didn't, to be honest. So uh, there's that. And that just leaves us Kojak Mr. On to try and accomplish anything. Kojak the Stroller Mr. On. Strike one. Ball one. Kojak not hanging around for another ball to go sailing past. Strike. Strikes out. All right. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, it was obviously that kind of inning. Yeah. Here's the, uh, here's the pitcher. It's Jake Premier. I think they keep him in. No, they're not. Uh, they're bringing Diagnosis Margaret in to come and have a pinch hit. And uh, we'll we'll see if she's uh, she's feeling lively. That was uh, 96 mile an hour fastball there. That's pretty good. Uh, that one's gone into the audience. That's pretty good too. Uh, come on, Tulip, put them away. Tulip puts her away, and you came on to pinch hit for nothing, and that eats into their bullpen yet further. Is Tonya Spangle? Uh, she's had a double and a run batted in, but only one of three from her plate appearances in today's matchup, And she'll clearly be hoping for a little more than that. But will she get it? Well, we're about to find out. Whoa! Two up, two down there. Tulip uh, Banter is, uh, is making it happen by striking them out. And uh, that gives us Bernard Dunk, who will be endeavouring to... Mercury! Thank you. There you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's cat hardcore up to do a bit of relief pitching. And uh, she is not a good pitcher and she's facing off against Ulysses' failure. Well. Well indeed. Yeah. We're, we're going to wait and... Yeah. Going to wait and see if failure is going to accomplish another one of his mighty swings. All right, that wasn't so mighty, but it does the job. And he'll get on to first. Bulldozer power starting brightly there. That's what we like. Is Mercury. Now, I diss Mercury quite a bit, but he's been relatively solid. He just screws up on occasion. And I can't stand it. I, I, you know, it really bakes my noodle. And, uh, and frankly, my noodle doesn't appreciate that in the slightest. Uh, it's uh, ball two now. Yeah. Oh, of course, yeah, I've got, I've got failure on second. Uh, yeah, on, on base. I say on second. By that I mean. Go on, son. Go on, son. He's there again. Rasputin drops another ball. And, uh, oh, there we go. And, uh, Murky gets a walk, rather rendering that steal completely pointless. But uh, who cares? Uh, getting on base is the only thing that really matters in these situations. And here's Zoltan, 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 Zoltan. Uh, so good they named him four times. 
but it's actually twice. Uh, Spangle there with a duff throw. It's it, there's just a lot of disaster going on in their uh, in their fielding scenario at the moment, and that'll load the bases up with no outs. Here we are again. Here's Steve Murray. Oh, there's a shocker, Steve. Oh, hold on, we're changing up the pitching. Uh, Justice Lemon's coming on. Okay, he's really good. Yeah, why didn't they bring him on before? Couldn't tell you, Steve. Why don't you brain this pitcher? I know that was a bit high, but it doesn't matter. Steve is going to try and brain the pitcher. Not that I've got any control over where my my hits go, you understand. Uh, but uh, but if he can brain the pitcher, it'd be marvellous. Ball two. Steve. Got his, got his eye in. Steve Mori. Wait for it. Is everybody going to run or what? No, you pressed the wrong button. Oh, okay. Crampons. That was, a, that was an extensive zoom there in on crampons. Uh, but should I just let him strike out? I think it's probably a good idea. Yeah, I think it's probably a good idea as well. Yeah, just let him strike out. I don't want to let him strike out. Let him strike out. Okay. I really... Oh, it feels bad letting him strike out. Let him strike out. There you are. The odds of a double play there were really not in our favour. Mephisto, though, swing away. All right. Well, it's just as well. We're, we're, oh, for crying. Swing away at an appropriate moment. All right. Okay. All right. Come on. Get us one run. There it is. Beautiful. Lovely job. There you are. That's that one run that we wanted. We've now got it. You know who's up to bat? Chill it flipping banter. She got on base last time. Yeah, she's still a pitcher though. I mean, you can't expect too much from her. True. It'd be good if she got a bat. A, a, a hit though. Oh dear. Uh, it'd be nice if she got a hit. Uh, well, that ain't going to count. Not unless they drop it. Didn't drop it. No, but we got a run, and that counts. That's a thing that matters, as uh, as the uh, as the medics start to look down the barrel of a uh, of a potential defeat. If uh, if we can continue up the pressure that is currently being applied to them, uh, obviously an open wound, you know, applying pressure wound. You know, there's a there's a medic joke in there somewhere. Yeah, I know Tyrone just hit a home run, but there was no one on base, so it really didn't matter that. They got up. Yeah, I know. Look pleased with yourself. You're their best hitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the faces and the hand signals and the da da da. Uh, here's Bambi Severe. All right, Tulip. Keep your keep your wits. Keep your nerve. That didn't mean nothing. That was a uh, that was not a that was not for you. There you go. See, Kojak's got the job done. Out number one. Here's Rasputin. Still rattling. Uh, but he got a hit last time. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what led us to take uh, Bubbles off. Yeah. No, we chanced Bubbles for too long. You can't blame Bubbles for that. No, you can't. That was a that was a bad coaching choice. Zoltz. Lovely job, son. Two down. Here's Underworld. 0 for 3 today, but that doesn't mean she isn't going to get a hit now. Get a hit, not get hit. Getting hit, I can make that happen more or less any time I please. It's not advisable. But uh, it can still be done. Uh, anyway, one run apiece in the eighth means the score is Bulldozer Power 9. Uh, the Bumps and Medics 6. As we head into the ninth inning and uh, every opportunity to just clear this one out. Uh, one, one or two runs here would be enough, I would have thought. We might have enough already, I don't know. But uh, another couple of runs would do us the power of good. Yep, strike one. Ball two. Ball three, yeah. Cindy Vapid waiting out. Yeah, I thought that was I thought that was in the wrong place. Cindy gets to stroll out to first. Is Kojak a uh, single pair of walks for her so far today? Uh, is she going to do anything dramatic here, or uh, are we just we're just hanging around and waiting for stuff to happen? Certainly looks like we're hanging around. Does rather look like we're hanging around. Cindy's gone a scamper. Cindy, yes, sir. All right, Cindy's run out to second, which mitigates the risk of a double play. Kojak with a nice hit there, and that's runners at the corners. That's where they are, and that's where they're going to run from. 
has uh, as failure who is on fire uh, is uh, is up to bat he's got a hit zone in the size of a flipping bomb volcano doesn't need a size of a volcano he's just whacked that over the fence well there he goes there he is there he is there it goes two home runs for Ulysses failure one wonders who today's star player is going to be I think you're looking at him he's a big lad and he hit the ball a long way is murky and uh, and BDP must surely now be feeling a little bit more confident and they were already feeling somewhat confident murky just got a slicey kind of a Rasputin should have got that kind of a hit here's Zoltan 4 of 5 a double 3 singles run batted in business as usual in the house of Zoltan what's the house of Zoltan it's like the house of pancakes except it's just nothing but pictures of Zoltan Zoltan on the wall you know he's variously thumbsing up giving you moustache grooming techniques all of that kind of business that's not over the fence he's out oh so he is yeah yeah I knew that I saw that coming all right, all right, solid, 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 solid. Steve Mori, one of five. Pretty classic Mori-esque performance. Uh, Justice Lemon's looking uh, less than confident. Steve's looking less than confident. There you go, Steve gets on base. Oh, it's a delight. Yeah, it's a, it's a Christmas miracle. Uh, okay, it's not Christmas. It doesn't really matter. It is anyway. Here's, uh, here's Crampons. His batting average has dropped to 0 0.095 now. Swing away, mate. Swing away. We've done enough to win this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the stuff. All right, everyone back up. Back up, everybody. If you'd have done it earlier, we could have got a run there. Well, not a run necessarily. We could have advanced the bases at least. Yeah. And that will give us Lynn Mephisto, who is also playing very nicely. Four of five. Uh, and Justice Lemon's had enough. And Vera Contagion's coming. Look at the depth in this pitching battalion. I mean, she's a starter, but even so, depth. Oh, I'm jealous. Yeah. Yeah. Don't just swing at anything, Lynn. You know, let the pitcher get her eye in. And Lynn gives it up cheaply, and we're done for the day. Uh, but have we done enough? 12 place 6 as we head into the bottom of the ninth, and the medics will endeavour to not go out with a whimper. Here's Bumson. Strike one. Good. That is a bit low. Yeah, I was going to say strike two, but it wasn't strike, so I can't. No. That, chill it. Don't try and be clever. Just just throw the ball. All right? That's not where I wanted it, but it'll do. Anyone in the region? Failure. Thank you. All right. One down. Here's Ben Turncoat, who, uh, who does have two of three from his, uh, from his appearances at the plate. Strike one. Completely fooled there by a slider from Tulip Banter. Alright, how about this one? Not so fooled that time. Zoltan's going to mop that one up in centre field. And that will be a base hit. We've got... We've, we're okay. It's fine. We can give up a base hit. Uh, Vera Contagion is done. They better, they better hope this doesn't go to extra innings. Uh, Barbara the Butcher is coming in, who is in really great form. As far as batting is concerned, let's strike one. You sure you don't want to walk her? I know it's tempting to do so, isn't it? Yeah, just put it somewhere that's really, really difficult to hit. Well, Steve's face? No, no, it's not difficult to hit Steve's face at all. That's not bad. Ball two. Yeah, you just got to make sure it's a difficult one to hit a long way. Nope, that's gone foul. And you don't, want to, you don't want to wear out Tulip's arm either. That's true. Go on. No, that's terrible. Yeah. Mephisto! Ah, the job is a good one. And the Butcher coming in couldn't change the fortunes of the team. Here's Tonya Spangle. And with two outs, they do have a runner on base. But the, uh, the, the machine that goes ping is pinging quite loudly right now in a way that should be perplexing to those uh, perplexing. It's not what I wanted. I, did, I was after something that means to cause consternation. I don't think there is a P word like that. Panicking? That wasn't the word you were looking for. No. Uh, anyway, that, that was a base hit. And uh, is Bernie Dunk. 
who's the last best hope for uh, for the uh, medics here. Nice. All right, chill it. Don't do anything clever. Don't... What was that? That wasn't clever. That was stupid. That was stupid. Don't do anything clever. That's it. Straightforward pitches will do the job. All right. There you go. See? Cheeky. Cindy Vapid there with the runouts and the Bulldozer Power come away with a much needed win. They're, they're not out of it yet this season, but they're not far from being out of it either. Um, yeah, they're pretty solid all round performances apart from Crampons and Steve Murray, but we don't really expect either of them to have particularly fine appearances. Uh, the win awarded to Bubbly Merchandise was five strikeouts. Solid. Tulip Banter with the save. They went through six pitchers, which is more pitchers than I have. Ulysses Failure, your star player of the day, unsurprisingly. Jack Mercury with three runs batted in. Lynn Mephisto with two, also getting a mention. So we've seven games to, uh, to you know, deal with, to, to, you know, make magic happen. First up is the Sports Ball Union, who on two and nine are pretty much done this year. Uh, they're playing the Picks Creek Miners, who are five and six, are still very much alive. Uh, but uh, but it's all about winning records now, and the uh, Miners come away with a victory there. Uh, Failurewood Hills on six and five are taking on the Erg Mellon Flex Chroniclers, who are five and six. Well, this could tie up both teams, making it all very exciting. Uh, it didn't happen though, so it's not very exciting. Oh no, it it, it that did happen, so it is exciting. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the Budget Roadies are facing off against Grazer Ridge. Madame Pompadour will be uh, will be pitching for Grazer Ridge today. And uh, hoping that Kiki Tyrant and uh, a Tommy Bangfish, to Tom Timmy Timmy, I can't remember his name. What's his What's his first name? I don't, he's one of mine. I should know what Bangfish's first name is. I can't remember. Ah oh, well, never mind. Uh, I I didn't even see who won. That's how much I care. Uh, the Lingo Blend All Stars are currently seven and four and leading the way in my division. Can't allow that. Uh, they're playing the Grunt Auto Group, so we're we're all about the Grunt Auto Group. Who almost, and oh, they pulled six runs back in the late stages of the game, but couldn't make it work. So uh, that one went to Lingo Blend, which is not what we want to see. The Nomads are taking on Stardos of Human Resources. Both teams in strong position at the moment. With a 7-4 and four record, Michael Train Gamer uh, will be pitching for the Nomads, whereas Xavier Sensation is uh, getting it done for the Stardozers. Stardos are taking an early lead. They managed to hold on to it. 6-2 to two, the final score. Uh, two games left to go for you now, and Cheerio Incorporated are taking on the Mongolia Sea Raiders. Cheerio are largely out of it. I mean, they could turn it around if they win every single game in the season, and they seem to be intending to try and do just that as they overcome the Sea Raiders. Uh, the Picks Creek Miners in action once again against the Wretched Minstrels. The Minstrels on 7-4, and four. a win here makes them look pretty good for postseason, but they do have to win it first, and the Miners... Well, they just won both of their encounters. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. Uh, in the wood chipper, the Pirates on 9-3 and three look great right now, but Stardos of Human Resources are right on their heels. 8-4, and four, their record. That one's going to come down to the wire. In the Bombastic Division, the Nomads are up front on 7-5. and five. Grazer Ridge will probably be out of it unless they can win their next couple of games without response. In the fish tank, the Bumpson Medics on six and six, the Grunt Auto Group on six and six, and the Peninsula Transport Team on five and seven. That division is not yet decided. Moving on to the battle plan, the Lingo Blend All Stars are out front on eight and four, but Bulldozer Power are now back in the hunt on seven and five. Uh, there is another three game series scheduled between Lingo Blend and Bulldozer Power, and that will almost certainly decide the division. Budget roadies on four and eight. Let's not bother talking about them anymore. Over in Bank Company and in the Whoop Whoop division, the Sunshine Fun Bus are ten and two. In second place is the Off City Axemen on uh, on seven and five. Could they make it back in? I doubt it. Uh, in the Sloganator, it is a three-way tie with only run difference making the difference. Uh, Erg Mellon Flex, Failurewood Hills, and the Steganauts all on six and six. How exciting. Uh, in the Zesty division, the Wretched Minstrels on 7 and 5 are out front. Mongolia Sea Raiders are right with them on 6 and 7. Uh, but uh, they're on 6 and 7. Yeah, I know. They've, they've played an extra game. Yeah. 
and they have two more losses. Yeah, okay, fair play. Sports Ball Union are not part of the equation. In the Colonel Cam division, to round things off, the beekeepers are ahead purely by having played one less game. They're on seven and five. Uh, Picks Creek Miners on seven and six, and then Cheerio Incorporated five and seven could still get a look in, but it's very unlikely they do so. In our next game, we're taking on the Colonel Space Agency, who don't have the strongest record. We're going to have to pull out another win if we're going to be in any way in contention to be in contention in any way at the end of the season. I've been Colonel Failure. You've been watching the Electro Sports Television Baseball Network in colour. Uh, why not subscribe to save yourself from everything? Electro Sports, your salvation when you need it the most. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio.